It's a long box, it's grey, and it's got a window. All the giveaway signs that this is a haulage model from WSI Models. Looking at the label, and we have a Volvo FH4 Globetrotter 6x4 with a semi low loader of six axles with ramps. This is a limited edition model in the colours of the Dutch company Westdijk. In goes the hand to grab hold of what's inside, and what we pull out is a large expanded polystyrene tray with a plastic former on top. And for my next trick, there is something hidden underneath, and that's a brochure we'll look at shortly. Sometimes you just have to stick the knife in, but on this occasion it's not because the box has done anything wrong, we just want to get the model out. With the lid off, out come the parts, and first up is the Volvo tractor, and then the Notabome trailer. There's also a bag of parts. A nice inclusion with this particular type of trailer is a small printed brochure. It starts off by covering the real trailer, and that includes some very nice photos and technical details. Towards the back we then move on to the trailer model, and the main features of the various trailers in this series are described. So all in all this is a worthwhile inclusion. Before we go any further you can find out a lot more about scale models on the Cranes Etc website. There you will find over a thousand reviews and other articles. Also, if you want to buy scale models, there's also a shopping mail that you can visit with links to dealers around the world. There are links to both the Cranes Etc website and the shopping mail in the video description below. For the assembly, there's not much to do other than to join the tractor and trailer. So we locate the kingpin of the trailer and clunk click does the trick. After that there's just one other thing to do, and that's to fit marker boards. Although when I said one other thing, I meant two, because there are two marker boards. So we are straight in under the Volvo, and as you would expect, we have a detailed chassis by WSI. The gearbox is visible, as are various tanks and the exhaust. Moving towards the back, the transmission and suspension are modelled, and there are different tyres, front and rear. On the cab roof there are beacon lights at the back and also on a light bar at the front. The roof light is modelled but it's not see through. There's some nice small detailing on the visor above the windscreen. The door mirrors on the cab are colour coded and the Volvo front grille is particularly detailed. That includes a realistic number plate and sharp looking lights. The decoration on the cab is also particularly good and that also includes graphics in the side windows. In fact the whole look of the colour scheme is particularly nice, and that includes highlighted red hubs on the wheels. The rest of the detailing is also high quality. The rear wheels also look smart, and there's Volvo on the mud flaps. Moving to the gooseneck, and there's a yellow stripe along the edge, and a Notabome graphic. Also particularly nice on this trailer are the various textures, and that also includes replica timber inlays. The edge detailing is also of very high quality. The small wheels look good with their highlighted hubs, and there are also highlighted bolt positions above the pendle axles. The trailer ramps are convincingly modelled, and that includes support chains, and there's some particularly convincing detail around the rear. With the trailer on its back, we can see some high quality detailing underneath, and that includes hoses running the length of the trailer. There are wheel chocks modelled, and the pendle axles are modelled in metal. We start by looking underneath the Volvo, and there is steering on the front axle, and it has a moderate range of movement before the tyres get fouled. We always like to give the truck a run around, and the Volvo moves well in a straight line. With the steering set there's something of a curve that can be achieved, and there's at least enough to make poses look interesting. We do need to check that there's an engine underneath, so we tilt the cab forward. And yes, there you can see the modelled engine, and it's got Volvo written on it. And overall it's nicely detailed. The engineering of the Notaboom trailer is really good, and that's demonstrated by the smooth proportional steering on the rear five axles. There's no suspension on the axles 1 and 2, and we'll see why later, but the other axles have sprung suspension. 
Also really nicely engineered is the gooseneck and it smoothly adjusts its angle. Moving on to having the trailer right side up and it rolls along very well. And you can see the springiness in the suspension. Another feature on the trailer is that all axles can be grounded as you see here. Or if the trailer is travelling empty you can save wear on the tyres of axles 1 and 2 by clipping them up out of service. And the model achieves enough ground clearance that they don't roll when the trailer moves along. Let's now test the steering on the rear axles. And you can see that you can achieve some convincing steering angles. Other optional features on the trailer deck include extending its width. And the planks are provided for that or you can fit deck posts. Another reason why this type of trailer is very flexible is that you can extend its length. It has a telescopic spine beam and you can pull it out to any length that you want. But for the purposes of this review let's shorten it up a bit because we've got a heavy load to put on. And because also it's a big load we will pull out the marker boards. Then with the swift help of a mega lifting hand crane we can bring in the load which in this case is a large piling rig. This is a long load configured as it is here with a full leader and it looks impressive on a suitable truck. Of course if you want to unload the model in a more normal way you can lower the loading ramps. This is a great looking limited edition heavy haulage model. The Westdyke colour scheme is very attractive and the model is high quality both in terms of the detail and the functionality. And it also looks very impressive with a suitable load on board. Overall it's a really nice model which is excellent.